to your TCM the emergency medicine channel today we will be discussing about PCV mode that is pressure control ventilation so uh, we have different modes in our ventilator so uh, when we uh, on our ventilator go to controls so uh, we have the mode options we have different modes we have the volume control mode we have the pressure control mode or we have the intelligent mode and non invasive modes so volume control mode so what is happening in volume control mode is we will be setting a tidal volume that is required for the patient so we will be setting a volume according to that the ventilator will be providing an inspiratory pressure for the patient and the patient uh, and the ventilator will try to achieve that uh, volume which we have selected whereas in pressure control mode yeah in the pressure control mode we will be setting an inspiratory pressure so depending on the pressure we have kept the ventilator will be giving the tidal volume for the patient and we have the intelligent mode intelligent mode in which uh, the patient uh, the ventilator will check how the patient is responding and the ventilator itself will decide the mode for the patient and ventilator will adjust accordingly depending on the patient and we have the non invasive mode non invasive mode means we will be usually using in a non ventilated patient we will be giving positive pressure ventilate, uh, ventilation in a non ventilated patient so uh, today we will be discussing about the pcv mode so it is a pressure controlled mode so uh, why pressure controlled mode so uh, we will be thinking that we want to um, set a tidal volume so according to that tidal volume we might be uh, uh, planning on uh, the ventilation for the patient so that the oxygenation and carbon dioxide uh, oxygenation and the exchange of carbon dioxide will be correct but what happens is when we set that volume the ventilator uh, will try to give maximum pressure or the pressure possible to attain that uh, tidal volume so sometimes that can cause a volume trauma to the patient and that might not be good for the patient so in pcv mode we can target a pressure so that the tidal volume can be achieved accordingly and we will not be increasing the pressure so that the lung will be protected so it, it is somewhat like a lung protective ventilation which is usually done in ARDS and all so we uh, according to the pressure only uh, the tidal volume will be achieved so in uh, some cases like uh, ARDS and all we will be setting a very low tidal volume so uh, we will be targeting only a low tidal volume so we can adjust the pressures accordingly so that uh, based on the pressure only we will be getting the tidal volume okay so in the uh, when we are opting for a pcv mode we have to set the pressure control the peep the fio2 the respiratory rate the i is to e and the flow trigger okay so uh, pressure control usually we will be getting uh, keeping the pressure control as 15 or something uh, so we can reduce the pressure and increase the pressure accordingly according to our need and depending on the patient condition and depending on the next abg we can adjust accordingly if suppose the patient is not getting oxygenated well or ventilated well uh, we will have to uh, if it is a, um, not getting ventilated well we will be increasing the uh, pressure control and if the patient is not getting oxygenated well we will be increasing the peep okay so uh, in this mode we will be this pressure control will be mostly targeting the inspiratory pressure okay so, uh, so uh, uh, during this pressure control this if we are setting it as 20 the 20 pressure uh, will be given during the inspiration and during the peep peep this is uh, easy uh, end expiratory pressure positive end expiratory pressure that pressure will be given during the expiration so uh, pressure with any pre control will be given during the inspiration and the peep will be given during expiration and the fio2 we can set uh, from 21 to 100 and we can set the flow trigger flow we have already discussed about the flow trigger so initially uh, immediately after uh, intubation we will be ke keeping a flow trigger somewhat around 5 and all and when we are planning to weaning uh, wean the patient we will be reducing the flow trigger 
okay then we will have to set the i is to re, e ratio usually we will be uh, keeping an i time and an e time uh, we will be keeping a more e time will be there then that means we want more time for expiration and we will be setting the rate that is the frequency the respiratory rate we will be uh, keeping for the patient so depending on that respiratory rate the ventilator will be giving the pressures so if you are keeping the respiratory rate as 16 the uh, ventilator will be will be giving that pressures and uh, during the inspiratory time it will be giving one pressure if you are setting 20 that pressure will be given during the inspiration and there will be an inspiratory plateau so uh, what is happening is uh, in the beginning of inspiration that plateau pressure will be reached and that pressure will be maintained that means the 20 pressure if you are targeting that 20 pressure will be maintained during the inspiratory time and then during the expiratory time that is more uh, the inspiratory time uh, the expiratory time is actually more than the inspiratory time so that uh, during the expiratory time only the peak pressure will be there so that is how the PCV mode is working. So depending on the uh, frequency or the respiratory rate we are setting, the pressure will be given accordingly. That means the inspiratory pressure will be given accordingly. So PCV mode is basically a time triggered and a pressure limited and a time cycled uh, mode of ventilation that means depending on the pressure we set and the uh, frequency we set uh, we will be able to give the adequate ventilation for the patient okay so uh, one important thing we have to remember is that in pcv mode the ventilator is taking over the patient so this patient should be properly sedated and paralyzed and it is not a weaning mode so immediately after intubation we mostly will be going for a pcv mode and uh, depending on the weaning and the patient response or patient improvement we will be stepping down the uh, down to different modes so pcv mode is uh, ideally used in case of a fully sedated and paralyzed patient okay so that is all about pcv mode thank you